Well, good morning everybody. Today I'm just going to do a quick simple recipe on fermented chickpea hummus. This is a quick simple and easy recipe to do. It just requires two tins of chickpeas, one lemon, uh, 100ml of oil and two tablespoons of tahini plus a bit of water. Um, to find out how I fermented my chickpeas, there's a recipe on that. This is just two tins of chickpeas fermented for about a week. And yeah, so what do we need for this recipe? Well, two tins of fermented chickpeas, you throw it in the blender. And then with a quarter of a cup of water, uh, two tablespoons of tahini. This is unhulled. Unhulled is actually better for you because it has more calcium. So two tablespoons of tahini. And I've already added the juice of one lemon to the blender. So yeah, this will be a really, really good creamy recipe. I'm sure there's other recipes out there that you could um, from, use the fermented chickpeas with that has less oil and less fat. I know a lot of YouTubers who make like ferment, like hummus with like less oil, but I like the oily hummus. You can add whatever flavors you like to it at the moment. This is extra virgin olive oil with garlic. Um, you could just add normal oil and add garlic or paprika or any spices that you like. So you just throw it all into a blender and you blend it for about five minutes and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Making your own home is so simple and so much cheaper. Uh, two tins of even organic chickpeas is like only a couple of dollars plus a little bit of oil, a little bit of tahini and, and lemon. So this is a shop would have cost like over ten dollars worth of tahini, but since you make it at home, it is only a couple of dollars. And once you get making your hummus, it'll be just something you you do all the time. And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. This is the end result. It has turned out really nice and creamy. It took about seven minutes, and it is really delicious. This hummus will last me about a week. I eat it with all sorts of stuff. I eat it with raw vegetables, which is nice and healthy. I am mix it through the pasta just before I serve it. Um, yeah, it is an amazing snack. And once you get into fermenting your chickpeas, it blends so much easier. And once you get into making your own hummus, it is a money saver. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And also remember to get experimenting, fermenting, and enjoying life. And thanks for watching.